Premier League football is back. We've had a weekend off, but it's time to bring back the vlogs. And today we are going to watch my team, Aston Villa, in the Premier League Friday night under the lights versus Southampton. It's sure to be a good one. Villa need to get back to winning ways. A good performance against Man City, but now it's time to get three points. If you have missed the match day vlogs, be sure to smash that like button down below. Hit the red subscribe button if you're new, as well on the road to 7,000 subscribers. And let's get to Villa Park and see a magical night under the lights. Let's go. Okay, just in and around Villa Park. Team news is out. Coutinho, Bailey, Watkins leading the line. No Dougie Louise, who I'm a little bit surprised about. And, of course, Emmy Martinez is in the sticks. There was rumours of him not being available, but he's fit, he's ready to go. I'm happy with the Villa team. Let's hope they can go and get the three points tonight. Villa Park seems buzzing, and it seems incredible under the lights. Let's see what happens. Come on, the Villa boys. Kick off them moments away. My score prediction for tonight Aston Villa 2, Southampton nil. Clean sheet under the Friday night lights, and Villa getting three points on the board. Atmosphere looking incredible tonight, and hopefully, if we can deliver. Here come the teams then. Eight o'clock kickoff here, Friday night under the lights, but of course, before we start, they'll be paying homage to Queen Elizabeth II and her passing, and the teams are going to gather around the centre circle for here and we'll see a special moment here at Villa Park tonight. Incredible minute silence observed here at Villa Park and look how special this is, these phones and lights as Villa Park turn off all lights for this. And we're now going to have the national anthem. occasion right, lucky Leon good ball over the top there what a touch from Leon Bailey unlucky there in the final third good play there by Gineppo does Luca Dean way too easy gets the crossing and uh, Saints win a corner from that. That was dangerous there, very dangerous. Go on, Leon. Ah! Oh, oh. Unlucky there from Bailey. Good combination play, couldn't get a shot away though. First 30 minutes, so flat here at Villa Park. From the players, the body language that's negative. No creativity in the front of the third. And really, we're finding it hard to uh, create anything. Southampton, not really a threat either. Both teams really much set up for the draw right now and uh, look more afraid to lose this game than to actually try and win it. That's my thought so far, first 30 minutes in. Oh, what a turn! Go on! Oh! That's the magic that Coutinho can produce. Very unlucky there. First real moment of magic there from Aston Villa and it comes from that man Philippe Coutinho. What a turn that was. Gets his shot away, not quite test for the keeper. But that is what we need to see more. More creativity, more spark from Aston Villa. Oh! Huge chance there for Coutinho at the back post. Saved by the keeper. And Villa's first real effort again. Taken quickly. Get him. Attack it! Take any goal. A 
couple of headers there, and Ramsey's there to put it over the line. And Villa finally get that goal. And just before half time, 41 minutes. It wasn't pretty, it wasn't great, but they took the corner quickly, put the ball in the box, Mix beats the first header, keeper pulls off a good save, a little bit of a scramble, and Ramsey's there to put it in. I'll tell you what, when you're in a dog fight, you need something like that. Game's been poor, we take the goal, hopefully now we can lift this crowd, and hopefully the Aston Villa players. Things you hate to see. A possible offside check by VAR. Surely not. Surely, surely not. We'll have to wait and see, but hopefully that goal is not spoiled. Hey, and ironic cheers as it's not offside. The goal stands. Thank God the players can actually celebrate properly in the corner flag. But a little bit of concern for Villa as Bubakar Kamara is down hurt. He went in for a huge 50 50 about a couple of minutes ago, and I don't think it's gone well with him. And uh, it does look like Aston Villa might be forced into a sub there. And it is the end of the night for Kamara. That injury is too much. And Dougie Louise comes on, who actually I think we need to have on this pitch. A ball player midfielder. Someone is going to get the ball and make things happen. Prize of shoot from the Villa Park crowd. As Dougie has already scored from two direct corners. You can hear it. Here we go. Oh, wow, he has actually. Oh, my God, he nearly does it again. This is sensational. This is our whole secret weapon, I tell you. Half time here at Villa Park and Villa go in 1 0 at the break. Much needed. And uh, let's go for the second half. Big second half coming up here for Villa. Got to get and started like they did the back end of that first half. Be on the front foot. Shackles are off now. Go get that second half. Kill the game. Let's see what happens. Replaced by number 7, Joe Aribo. Number 28, Mark Larius. Big chance there. Ah, I'm lucky. Long throw here for Southampton. They've tried to use it a few times. Aribo flicks it on. And in the hands of Emmy and uh, just uh, got to be cautious of this and uh, Southampton. Villa are making such hard work of this second half. It's gone scrappy, can't get hold of the ball. Again, shot in confidence. And Southampton, if they create something, they could put us under trouble here. It's not good, not a good second half at all from Villa. And Coutinho coming off Aston Villa for what would probably be our final change. Played well today, good intensity about his play. Showed a bit of quality on the ball. And Danny Ings against his old team. It's going to come on the pitch. Would it be great if he would score against his former team? Five minutes and it's time. Dear, oh dear. Come on. Sort it out. Good defending. We're just inviting the pressure. And Southampton have actually sent their goalkeeper up here. Ball comes in. Clear. Shoot. Danny Ings with a little smile on his face, half volley, tries to shoot and absolutely fluffs the shot with the open goal. What a tackle that is from McGim. Exactly what you need to switch on though. Oh no, now he gives away a dangerous free kick in James Ward Prowse territory. And just like that, we give away a free kick in the dying embers of this game to a man who is the best head pool specialist in the Premier League, James Ward Prowse. Please, please don't let this go in. I beg. James Ward Prowse steps up, brings it in. And luckily, the header goes wide. Jeez, it's
this is too tense for me. This is this is nail biting stuff. We are hanging on. Full time at Villa Park, and Villa get the crucial three points here. Turn on it's under the lights in the Premier League.